Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. You might already know me from my Instagram or TikTok. There I regularly post short tutorials and animations of my art. If you are interested, feel free to check it out and leave some likes or a follow. That would help me a lot so that I can continue to create cool tutorials for you. I link you to my profiles in the caption. Today I'll show you how to create this cool ice cream cover art animation. I have adjusted my videos. You can find all the key combinations I press in the bottom corner. Also the right click is marked blue and the left click red. We'll start with the render settings. There you can select all the important things, such as the format. To do this, press the cogwheel icon at the top. Under render, select physical, then select a format of your choice. I take 1080 by 1080 pixels, the standard Instagram post format. After that, select all frames for frame range, since we're creating an animation. That's it, now let's move on to creating the 3D objects. First we create the eyes. First we go to the bar above and select a star spline. We set the inner radius to 62 cm and the outer radius to 42 cm. We also set the points to 12. Then we go to the top bar and select a helix spline. For start radius we select 96 cm, for start angle 210 degrees, for end radius 5 cm, end angle 1773 degrees, radius bias 36% and for height 325 we select XZ. Now we go to the top bar and select sweep to create a 3D object from the splines. First we place the star under it and then the helix. Additionally we select a subdivision surface from the top bar and place the sweep under it. Now we select the sweep and go to the menu item object and go to the category details. Under scale we insert two points into the curve by holding down the command key. Then we move the beginning of the curve about 0.7 and the end of the curve all the way down. Under rotation we move only the end point of the curve downwards. Now we create the panel. For this we select cone at the top of the bar. Under object we select for bottom radius 145 cm, for height 400 cm and for both segments 50. Furthermore we set the orientation minus Y. Now make the eyes invisible so that we can edit the cone better. Now we select the cone, press the right mouse button and select current state object. On the left side we select the area selection and delete the upper part of it. Now we look for the loop selection and select two rings at the top. After that we press with the right mouse button on it and select extrude to move the part outwards. Now select only the top of the cone. For this I use the rectangle selection tool. It is best to go to the front view to make a perfect selection. Then go back to the 3D view and press the right mouse button and select extrude. Now we select a subdivision surface to smoothen everything a bit and make the ice cream visible again. Finally we add the sprinkles. To do this, select the 3D object capsula from the bar at the top. For radius you choose 3 cm and for height 15 cm. Then select cloner from the top bar and place the capsule below it. Then click on the cloner and go to the sub item object. At mode you select object and under object you place the subdivision surface of the ice. At count we select 500. Now let's move on to the materials and textures. From here on you can customize your artwork by using other environment textures, materials, bump maps and colors or by adding additional objects. You can also leave it the way I do it. Feel free to send me your final results on Instagram. I will repost your artwork as a thank you. Well let's continue. To create a new material you have to double click with the mouse in the material window. First we create the material for the eyes. Drag and drop the material on the ice. Open the material. We only need the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and after that add and insert a new GGX layer. 
set the roughness value to 10 and the specular strength value to 20. The material is ready. Now we create a new material for the sprinkles. For this we duplicate the already created material. Set the value of roughness to 0 and specular strength to 0. Additionally we set the global reflection brightness to 10%. The material is ready. Finally we create the material for the waffle. For this we duplicate the crumble material and set an additional check market bump. If you google for a waffle bump map you will find different versions. I take you here. You add the bump under the texture. After that you set strength to minus 100. To adjust the texture, press on the material icon in the layers window. There I set length U to 15% and length V to 30%. Now select sky at the top of the bar. So we can see something, we have to create a new material here to drag and drop the material onto the sky. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under texture you can insert a picture of your choice. I choose an old graphic for me. The dark sprinkles do not look good. I go back to material and set global reflection brightness to 50%. Perfect. At Patreon you can find the complete project file with all textures I used for the project. There you can also support me financially as an artist. All the money helps me spend more time on creating tutorials and cool things for you. You have the choice between three packages. For 5 euro per month you have access to the project files. For 8 euro per month you get the benefits of the first package plus exclusive access to my Adobe After Effects files. There I edit all animations additionally. For 12 euro per month you get the advantages of the other packages plus earlier access to my tutorials. I hope there is something for you and thanks for the support art invaders. Finally, we animate the whole graphic. For this we extend the animation to 8 seconds. Now we animate the eyes. For this we select the helix spline. Move the animation slider to 4 seconds and set a keyframe at height by pressing on the dot. Then move the slider to the beginning of the animation and enter 5000 cm for height and set another keyframe. Then switch to the menu item coordinates. Move the animation slider to 2 seconds and set a keyframe position Y. Then move the slider to the beginning of the animation and enter 500 cm for position Y and set another keyframe. Now we select all objects from the ice and move the slider to the beginning of the animation and set a keyframe. Then we move the slider to the end of the animation and rotate everything 360 degrees and set another keyframe. Finally we animate the sprinkles. For this we select the cloner and search for random in the bar above. At position X, Y and Z we enter 75 cm and move the slider to 7 seconds and set keyframes for all three axes. Then we move the slider to 6 seconds and enter 0 for position X, Y and Z and set one keyframe. After that we move the slider to the end of the animation and repeat the process. Finally we make the animation a linear sequence. That means, that everything runs in the same speed all the time. For this we go to the top bar to window and then timeline F curve. There we select all planes. After that we select all starting points and press command plus A. Finally we press the linear button. Finally, you can create a tarp as a background so that you don't see the sky. That's it. Well done Art Invaders. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Do you have any theme suggestions or want to know how other artists created their animation? Feel free to send me a message with a theme or example pictures on Instagram or TikTok. I will make a tutorial about it. Do you have any questions or do you want to tell me something? Write it in the comments. I am glad about every support. Thank you. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1 to 2 tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.